Hello. Well, um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the passing of John Carl Beekler. Um, he died Monday, uh, the 18th of March 18th. Um, he had cancer, and um, there is a GoFundMe um, that was made to help with the uh, medical bills, which is still up, so it's sort of like to, you know, you can donate if you'd like to help out with, um, <clears throat> help out with any of the medical bills, um, his wife might have to, you know, deal with, and, um, yeah, I will leave a link, um, you know, there's a little memorial fund, so, yeah. So, yeah, I will leave a link to that in the description. Um, for those of you who know him or may not know, um, he was the director of Friday the 13th, Part 7, The New Blood. Um, I actually enjoy that movie. I know many people aren't fond of that, but I enjoy it. It's also the first time Kane Hodder <clears throat> uh, ever played Jason Voorhees in Friday the 13th, so there's some significance there. Um, and also just another thing of, uh, of note to uh, John Beekler. He, you know, he essentially was the guy that said Kane Hodder is the guy to be Jason, and then he got to be Jason Voorhees three more times after that. Um, so without uh, uh, Mr. Beekler, we may not have ever gotten Kane Hodder, who is said by many to be the very best uh, to play Jason Voorhees. Um, so yeah, aside from the director of that film and others, which I'll get into some of them in a minute, he was also the special effects, he was in the special effects, or makeup effects unit. He did a lot of special makeup and special effects in various films, uh, such as Friday the 13th Part 7. He also helped with uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, Dream Master, uh, as well as uh, Halloween for The Return of Michael Myers, which all four of those came out the exact same year, so he was quite busy that year. He also helped with uh, effects on uh, Ghoulies 2, and um, helped, you know, he was a creator of the troll characters. in the movie Troll, and he also was a uh, special effects makeup and, uh, and Ghoulies designer for the original Ghoulies um, makeup department, yeah. He also helped do the special effects makeup for uh, Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare TV show, or no, not the TV show, bleh. That was from... Yeah, that was the... <clears throat> sixth film. I don't know, there's like a lot of stuff there. I'm on the IMDB page. There's like a lot of stuff listed there. You know, and that's... There's that thing. Also, there's a TV show above it, so... Yeah. But, yeah. He helped out a lot on the... Nightmare on Elm Street series and Halloween. And had a obvious big impact for Friday the 13th. Um, and for the directing films, you know, there was a Dungeon Master, which is his first movie, Troll, Cellar Dweller, Friday the 13th, Part 7, The New Blood, that's what we just talked about, Ghoulies Go to College, Land of the Lost, Watchers 4, Deep Freeze, Curse of the 49er, the 
a light in the forest, Grandpa's place. Sauron, Aiden, for Eden formula, and the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is his last film. But um, there is a movie called The Wizard Team, which is in post-production, so he has finished that. But there's one, two, three films in pre-production that he was attached to direct. Sugar Road, Manifest, Interview with the Devil, and then Ring of the Fallen was announced. However, uh, I don't know. I think Wizard Dream will probably be the very last movie he's directed that he would, will come out because it's in post production, so it's being edited. Um, and he was in some films. Uh, he was an actor in some. He was the fireman at the end of Friday the 13th, part 7. The fireman who picks up Jason's mask. He was in Troll. He was in Hatchet. John Cracker. He was in Hatchet 2. He also helped with the Hatchet films with the makeup and special effects, I believe. Or maybe not. Maybe that what those weren't. Uh, I guess he was just an actor in those. I don't know. I guess. I guess it was quite a, well, yeah, special effects. So, yeah, he was. I guess I just scrolled down too fast. Yep, special effects for Hatchet 1. So, yeah, it's all right. So I wasn't going crazy. But, yeah, he, um, 66 years old, passed away of cancer. Quite, quite heavy in the horror community. It's, some of the biggest franchises of all time, Friday the Thirteenth. I think you could say it was his biggest impact on any of the horror franchises. Helped out on some of the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street films and a couple of the uh, Halloween films. Yeah, um, it's very sad. Again, in the description, that GoFundMe uh, link will be in the description. So if you want to check it out and look, you can do so. And. Uh, Thoughts, prayers, all positive, you know, stuff to his family and to his friends. They're good friends of his. You know, uh, I just, it's, it's just sad. <clears throat> it's very sad. Um, he may be gone, but he won't be forgotten. Um. Don't really have any more to say, but um, yeah. I hope all of you will ha are will have a good day, and are having a good day. Have a good weekend and have a good week. Um, I know this isn't a, a topic that's very positive, but you know if you're watching this and you're able to have a good day, regardless, and also just remember. The movies he was in, if you saw him at a, a horror convention, remember the fun times or a good time you had <clears throat> meeting with him, talking to him. You know, it's always sad to lose somebody, a, a family member, a friend, or somebody you're a fan of, like in movies or TV or whatever kind of medium that somebody is in regarding works of some sort um, it's always sad um, but I uh, hope you're uh, all doing well and um, see you all next time <laughs>